This is a Jones hand machine. This particular example dates to about 1892, but they were made, I gather, between about 1880 and, I don't know, 1900 or thereabouts. The idea of this video is to show you how to set the needle. Unlike uh, more modern sewing machines that have a flat shank needle, for example the, the 15 by one that's common in machines to this day, with those needles you just push them in, they only go one way round, you push them in as far as they'll go and that's it. But on this particular machine it's a round shank needle that can go in pretty much any orientation and you can push it in too far. So this video will show you how to set the needle on a Jones hand machine. The first thing to note about the needle on these is that it's got a completely round shank. So if I put that into view and rotate it you'll probably see that there is no flat part on the needle on the shank end. Now when I turn it around the other side, now this is going to be quite difficult to see, but right the way down one edge is a groove. On one side the needle is fairly plain and on the other side of the needle there is that groove and that's where the thread rests as the needle is pushed through the cloth. So begin by making sure the needle bar is raised up to the top just to give yourself the maximum amount of clearance to insert the needle. And push the needle in up to roughly there and just clamp it finger tight on the needle clamp. And the next thing we're going to do is you'll notice that just up here is a black mark on the needle bar. And we need to lower that mark or raise that mark if you've gone too far just so that it's level with the very top. That's the position that you need the needle bar to be in when we set the needle. Now the next part of the operation is quite fiddly. We set our needle bar position to the index mark on the top and now what we have to do is we have to, while holding the needle, we're going to unclamp it slightly and rotate the needle so that that groove on the needle is to the left facing the left hand side of the machine. So you may want to use tweezers, you may want to use narrow nose pliers, do whatever method that you're most happy with. Just keep the, the needle bar in the position it's in with the index mark. So we're loosening slightly and then we're going to rotate the needle until we can feel the groove and then once you've got the needle with the groove facing the left we need to lower the needle or raise the needle until the eye of the needle, that's the tiny hole where the thread passes through the needle, is level with the cloth plate. And the cloth plate is this piece here that on later machines is known as the throat plate or the needle plate. And then once you've got the eye of the needle completely level with the cloth plate, just get your screwdriver and just tweak it up. And that's how you set the needle on a Jones hand machine. And it should part, the needle should pass straight through the centre of the hole and it shouldn't hit the edge or scrape the edge or anything. And that's how you know you've got it set absolutely correctly and it will then function absolutely smoothly.